brand new set of templates has just been added to Thrive Leads and it is available right now on your website. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at what exactly makes this new set of templates so special. Here we go. Now that you've seen the new set of templates, the next step is to make them fit the look and feel of your own website. So moving forward, I'm gonna show you how you can very easily customize the new set of templates. So let's jump right in. Here I am in the Thrive Leads dashboard and I've added a new lead group here and I'm simply gonna add a new type of opt-in form. I'm gonna choose the light box and I'm gonna add a form give it any name you want and edit the design. From this list of templates, we're gonna look for the one step version of this light box. So we're gonna choose it. Right off the bat, you can see that it has a certain character to it, right? Mainly because of this predominant color that is mainly reflected in the image, but also in the other elements as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a different image, but a one that has the same kind of style with a predominant color. We're gonna take that color and apply it on these elements as well. So the first thing we need to do is click on the content box and from the background style section here, we're gonna change the image. From the media library, we're gonna choose this image. As you can see, it has a predominant color I'm gonna insert it into post. And as you can see, we don't need to adjust it before we can actually upload it. It will automatically have the same shape as the other image because this is how this is customized within our editor. You don't need to use any Photoshop or any other editor for this. Now, the image looks good, but there are still the old colors, right, from the previous image. And we wanna change those colors with the predominant color in this image. There's a problem, however, we can't just select, for example, the heading and pick a similar color, right? We would like to have the exact color that's in the image. So how do we do this? Well, I'm editing this in Google Chrome, right? And it has this option, which is available in other browsers as well. But if you right click on the image, I'm gonna click on inspect, and this will open up this tool. I'm gonna to click on this icon here and I'm gonna click on the image again, right? And now look for this indicator here with the code. I'm gonna click on it and this will open up this color picker and now if we hover over the image, right? I'm gonna click on here. As you can see, this will automatically generate the color code for us. We're gonna copy it from here and we can simply close the tool. And now we can apply this color code on the other elements. For example, on the heading, we select it and we can apply it here. And as you can see, the new color has been applied on the heading. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other elements as well. We're gonna quickly apply it on these dividers here. As you can see, we can apply the color on each of these dividers. And now we are gonna apply it on this close icon as well. As you can see, here's the color. We apply it, but this has this hover effect as well. Now, if you want to, you can leave it as default, right? But we're gonna change the hover effect as well. As you can see, it has linear gradient. We're gonna click on one end, apply the color, and on the other end as well. But on the other hand, we're gonna apply a slightly darker color, right? Something like that. I'm gonna exit the state 
and here's how it looks now. And now the last element we're gonna apply the color on is the button from the lead generation element here. To customize that, we're gonna click on edit form elements and then we're gonna click on the button. And on the button, I'm gonna apply the color in the background style. I'm gonna add a new solid color and apply our color. Now, the cool thing about this button is that it also has this neat little hover effect, right? If you hover over it, as you can see, it will do this. Now, to see what this is about, we're gonna to go to the hover state. And as you can see here, it has two elements. Now, this is all built in our editor, right? It has a pattern, as you can see, and it also has a linear gradient. Now, we're gonna leave this as it is, but obviously you can fully customize this in order to make it look however you see fit. We're gonna exit the state, and we're gonna save and close here. And as you can see, the template looks completely different now and the customization is basically complete. Now, you can apply any image you want on this template. As I've said, you don't need any Photoshop or any other editors, right? You simply upload your image and it will be automatically placed in this shape here. One last customization trick that I wanna share with you guys is if you're dealing with multiple states, then you're gonna to have to follow the same design language from one state to another. Let me show you what I mean. Here we have a screen filler light box, and as you can see, it is a multiple choice opt-in form. So the user will have two choices on this opt-in form. Either he gets his free guide, or he goes to the video course. Now, as you can see, the video course button is sort of separate from the overall design language. The overall design language is based on this blue color. So if you will apply the image that we have shown previously, for example, and then you decide to change the other elements as well with that color, make sure to apply the same principle on state one as well. So if the user will click on this button and he will be sent to state one, right? Then make sure to not leave these elements with the default color, right? Make sure that you change this as well with the new color and the new image as well. Now, the second state is sort of separate. So you do, you do not have to follow that path. As you can see, it has a different colored button, right? It has a different design language. But if you're gonna customize the default state, make sure to customize state one as well in order to keep a continuation between the design language and the user experience. So basically this is the new set of templates in Thrive Leads. Make sure to check it out on your website as well and don't hesitate to try new customization methods but apply these basic principles while you're doing this. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.